Hello everyone, today we will be looking at the notes and updates for Wild Rift Patch 2.1a. It's me KBS and now let's begin the video. Wild Rift's cast of champions is growing from 40 to 41 in the game's latest patch. Katarina, the Sinister Blade is making her way to Summoner's Rift along with 7 collectible skins. When she releases later this month, players will be able to complete missions to unlock the champion. But for now, fans of the mobile game can look forward to various balance changes. Ash, Darius, and Ezreal are on the buff list, while Lulu, Misfortune, and Olaf fall victim to the nerf hammer in patch 2.1a Blade of the Ruined King and Leandri's Torment have also been nerfed, while Hunting Guys has been adjusted. We will look at the full list of changes coming to Wild Rift in a few days. First stop we got a new champion. Which was awaited by many. Which is Katarina, the Sinister Blade. Decisive in judgment and lethal in combat, Katarina is a Noxian assassin of the highest caliber. Eldest daughter to the legendary General Dukuto, she made her talents known with swift kills against unsuspecting enemies. Her fiery ambition has driven her to pursue heavily guarded targets, even at the risk of endangering her allies, but no matter the mission, Katarina will not hesitate to execute her duty amid a whirlwind of serrated daggers. Katarina will be released later in the patch. And will make the gamma play harder for everyone. Next stop we got events. Whenever new champion comes there will be new events in the game. So, this time the event name is Katarina's Challenge. In this event you need to complete missions to unlock Katarina. Now let's look at champions nerf and buffs. Let's begin with Ash. Ash is currently one of the weakest champions. She has good CC, but her underwhelming DPS isn't something to be afraid of. The devs have decided to reduce the cooldown of her first skill to improve her overall DPS. They decreased first skill ranger's focus cooldown from 8 7 6 5s to 7 6 5 4s. Next stop is Darius. Players often say Darius can do a pentakill. The truth is, he is currently so underwhelming and barely makes an impact in the match, especially during the late game. These buffs to his burst damage and CC should allow him to keep up and get those pentakills rolling. First they increased his first skill decimate. Missing health heal percent from 12 to 36% and 15 to 45%. And increased his third skill apprehend slow duration from 1s to 1.5 second. Now, next on the list is Ezreal. After the nerf from patch 1.1, he has since lost his charm. His damage is too lackluster, especially against tanks, and he slightly struggles in the lane against other marksmen. The devs reverted his base damage back before patch 1.1 to help him get back on track. By increasing his first skill Mystic Shot's base damage 20 50ths 80 100 tenths to 20 50 fifths 90 120 fifths. Next stop we got Varus. He is known as one of the weakest marksmen in the game, even worse than Ash. These slight changes to his first skill should allow him to improve his lane pressure and make him viable in Wild Rift. By decreasing its first skill Piercing Arrow's cooldown from 18 16ths 14 12s to 16 14 12 tenths. Next in the list is Vayne. Vayne is good against tanks during the late game. However, the devs figured she would be affected by the Blade of the Ruined King item nerf since this item is one of her core items in the game. The devs decided to buff her slightly so that her reliance on the item is reduced. By increasing its third skill Condemn Damage on Terrain Stun from 75 120 165 210 to 105 145 185 225 and decreasing its ult final hour cooldown time from 180th 60s 90 75th 60s. Next stop we got Zaya. Raiken performed better than Zaya since their initial launch. Her mechanic is useful in team fights, but her damage is quite lackluster. So the devs buffed her underwhelming damage, so she can compete with other marksmen. By increasing the first skill, double dagger base damage from 35 60 fifths 95 120 fifths to 50 70 fifths 100 120 fifths, and increasing, second skill, deadly plumage bonus attack speed from 25 30 35 40% to 35 40 45-50%. Then decreasing cooldown of, third skill, blade caller from 12 11 10 9s to 11 10 9 8 And increasing its AD ratio from 0.6 to 0.8. And main increasing its, ult, featherstorm base damage from 100 200 300 to 125 250 375. Now, we look at champions nerfs. First is Lulu. Lulu has always been one of the most robust supports in the game since her release. Hopefully, these changes should keep her from having a one-sided match. 
they are changing base stats of Lulu. Base health from 570 to 530. Movement speed from 330 to 325. Now, they are changing the second skill, Whimsy by decreasing polymorph duration time from 1.25-1.5-1.752s to 1-1.25-1.5-1.75 seconds then they are changing third skill, Help, Picks, its shield duration from 5s to 2.5 seconds and cast range from 7 to 6. And they decreased, Ult, Wild Growth cast range from 8 to 7. Next in the list is Misfortune. Misfortune's overall presence in the match can be quite overwhelming. She had the most burst damage compared to other marksmen in the game. The devs decided to reduce the overwhelming damage she has along with a few visual bug fixes. This they changed her base stats. Base armor from 35 to 30. Base health regen from 9 to 6. Base health regen per level from 0.81 to 0.55. 21 at level 15 to 14 at level 15. They changed passive, love tap. Love tap damage versus minions from 100% to 50%. They bug fix love tap damage versus monsters from 50%, unchanged, now in the tooltip. And the last champion in the list is Olaf. Ever since Kennen's nerf in Wild Rift, Olaf has been rampaging non-stop due to his ultimate skill that completely ignores any type of CC. These few nerfs should keep him from snowballing too hard and allow enemies to make room for a counter-attack. First they changed its base stats. Base armor from 40 to 35. Base AD from 70 to 64. Then they changed, first skill, Undertow. Slow from 30 35 40 45 percent to 20 25 30 35 percent. And then slow duration from 2.5 seconds. Item changes. Blade of the Ruined King has risen to the top in all builds for marksmen, even when its effect doesn't seem like it would synergize that well with the individual champion. We are nerfing it and also shaping it so that the identity of the item is more in line with attack speed based champions. We are not seeing melee champions abusing this item, however, and we will be increasing its on-hit damage from melee attacks to keep it relatively power neutral for melee users. Next in the list many champions are overly benefiting from the power of Leonry's Torment. We are tuning this item's AP down as its identity should be more about dealing tons of damage in long fights through its passives than simply being a very strong AP stat stick. We're adjusting haunting guys to accommodate this change. And thanks for watching the video hope it helped you guys. If you liked the video then do subscribe and hit the notification icon.